All right then gang, so we've successfully added our form right here and if we enter information and click on submit, we're logging this object, this state object to the console. So we're storing that information that a user inputs, but now what we really wanna do is take this object which now represents a new ninja and we want to add it to the state of the root component right here. We wanna add it to this array, push it onto that array. So that when we push it onto that array, it updates in the browser over here because the data is updated, therefore the components output that data, etc. So that's the ultimate aim here. We wanna take this object and add it to that ninja's array right here. But how do we do that? Because at the end of the day, we're storing this data that are user inputs inside this component and we want to add the data to this root component, the parent component. Now, we cannot access this state inside here, so we can't just add it on inside this component, we have to add it on inside this component. So let's just walk through this. The first thing we need to do is create a function inside this component, and that function is ultimately gonna be adding that new ninja to this state. So let's just create that empty function first of all. I'm gonna call this function add ninja, and we'll set it equal to an arrow function. Now inside this arrow function, we want to take a parameter. That parameter is gonna be the new ninja. So whatever this object is right here, we're gonna pass it into this function because that's what we want to add to this ninja's array. So we'll call that ninja, you can call it whatever you want though. So this is an arrow function and inside this arrow function, that is where we want to set the state. Now, I'm not gonna do that just yet. What I'm gonna do is now pass this function down as a prop into this component. And if we do that, we'll have access to that function to be able to call that function from this component. So we can call that function, pass in the new ninja, and then it's gonna run over here inside this component and be able to add that new ninja to the state. So let's create a prop and we'll call this the same as the function. It doesn't have to be the same, but I like to keep things consistent. So add ninja and set that equal to this dot add ninja. So we're passing that down as a prop now. So all we need to do is call that from inside this function over here. So let's get rid of that. In fact, I'm gonna cut that because we'll paste it in the other function in a minute. Then from here, when we handle the submit event, we'll say this dot props, then we have access to this function, add ninja, right? Because we pass it down as a prop. So we'll say add ninja like so, and we'll call that function. Now, what do we want to pass into this? Well, this function is expecting a ninja object. So an object that looks very much like this. So we can pass in the state because that is an object that looks very much like this. Remember, when we add it over here, Yoshi 35 or 45 and yellow, when we do that, we get an object which looks very much like that. So we can take that object and pass it into here, which is this dot state. That's what that object is. So we're now calling this function and we're passing in this object up here with these details on it. So now up here, we have access to those things. Now at the minute, all I'm gonna do is console.log, not this.state anymore, but the ninja that we receive, which should be the state of this component. So it should work exactly the same as before, where it logs that ninja to the console over here. So let's just try. This time we'll call him Mario, age 40, and the belt color can be black. Submit, and we still get the same functionality. That is expected. We're still logging it to the console, only this time, we're passing it up from the child via this prop method and then logging it up here when we get access to that parameter. Make sense so far? Cool. All right then, so the next thing we want to do now is actually take this ninja and add it to the state. But first of all, notice this. These objects all have an ID. Now, I don't want the user to input an ID because then they can just import an ID which is the same. Now, I'm not gonna do anything really sophisticated to create a random ID here. I'm just gonna do something simple for now, but later on, when you work with databases, you might have auto-generated unique IDs that you can work with. For now, I'm gonna do something very simple. I'm gonna take the ninja, which we receive right here, and I'm gonna add an ID property to it. And I'll set that equal to math dot 
random and that is going to get us a random number between zero and one and that will do for now it doesn't have to be one two three four five six just a random number just so it's got an id property that is more than likely unique all right so the next thing we want to do is set the state don't we we want to add this new ninja now with the id property to the state but remember we can't alter that state directly so how do you think we can push on a new item to that array and then update the state well what if we did this what if we say this dot set state then inside we want to update the ninjas and we want to take the current ninjas and we want to push something onto it and we want to push the new ninja onto it now can we do that and by the way this would be this dot ninjas wouldn't it and we can't do that if we were to do something like this then that is directly editing the ninjas property right here without using set state just forget set state for a minute if i was to do this outside here then the push method what that does is alter the original array it's destructive so this is already altering the state up here it's adding that item to the array it's not creating a new array it's just adding the item to the same array. So without even using set state, we've already altered the state right here. And remember, that is bad practice. We don't want to alter the state outside of set state. So instead, we need another way to add this ninja to an array. A better way would be to create a copy of the array, first of all, so we're not editing it, and then add that new ninja to the copy of that array, and then take that new array and assign it to this thing right here so that ninjas is now equal to the new array and we're only changing the state inside this set state method i hope that makes sense so how do we create a copy of this array and put the new ninja in it well we can easily do it via the spread operator so i can create a new local variable i'll just say let ninjas equal to and the spread operator looks like this we create our array first of all because we're creating a new array based on the old one then we say dot 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 for the spread operator, this dot state dot ninjas. So this right here, this spread operator, what it is doing is taking this array up here and it's spreading it out by adding these three dots in front of it into its individual components, individual objects. And it's putting those objects in this new array because we have square brackets here, right? It's putting those new objects individually as elements into this array. So now ninjas right here is going to be a carbon copy of this array, a new one. And this time we can add a new element to this array because we're not directly adding it to this one this time. We're adding it to the copy. So we can just do a comma and add an extra element on, which is going to be that new ninja right here. All right. So we have that new array now and we've not altered the original. So what we can do is just pass it in there like so. So the new ninjas property is going to be equal to the new ninjas array that we just created. That might seem a little complex at first, but very simply, all we're doing is copying this array using the spread operator, then adding the new element to that array, thereby not editing the state directly outside of set state. Then inside set state, we're taking the ninjas property and we're assigning it the new array value. All right. So now that should have the updated array. So let's save this and hope that this works. I'm going to add a new ninja called Mario. His age is going to be 35 and he's going to be a black belt. Press enter and voila, we get it right there. It's added to that array. So the state updates, we get a new object and therefore the prop that we send down here, the ninjas array, that is changing inside this component. Where is it? Ninjas there. It's updating inside here, the props that we receive. So therefore, it renders that new ninja to the DOM. All right. So my friends, long winded as though it may seem, that's how we can pass a function down as a prop into another component, much like we did into this form component. We can call that function from that component and we can pass information back up to the parent component and then use that to alter the state of the parent component.